Hello, welcome to Miller's Wildlife. I'm Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and you've accidentally clicked on the Halloween special on Miller's Wildlife. What's so special about it? Not too much. But I am going to talk a bit about scorpions today. More specifically, why do scorpions glow under black light? So all invertebrates have a special protective layer over their bodies called an exoskeleton. We have our skeletons on the inside or on your coffee table. Uh, and uh, bugs have their exoskeletons on the outside, which is really makes more sense. It's more protective. The cool thing about a scorpion's exoskeleton is that the outermost layer, the hardest and toughest layer, there's a protein that takes in ultraviolet light and reflects a bluish green light. It's really interesting. It's very helpful when uh, trying to find scorpions out in the wild or if you're trying to avoid them for some reason. And all species of scorpions have this and nobody really knows why. We know why they glow because of that protein, but they don't know the purpose of it evolutionarily. There are a number of different theories, but the one that I like the most, and the one that's widely agreed upon by scientists, again, this is just a theory nobody really knows for sure, is that since scorpions are nocturnal, and since ultraviolet light can actually uh, take away a lot of the moisture in their bodies, scorpions will only go out on the darkest nights. So if it's sunny out, or if it's a very bright moon, they uh, will go out of their dens much more infrequently. So it's believed that their entire body works as like another eyeball. So they can tell how bright it is outside. And if it's too bright, they stay in. And if it's nice and dark, that's the way they like it. They're nocturnal hunters. Then they can leave their hides and go look for food. And so how do we know that this protein only exists on the outer portion of the exoskeleton? Well, aside from scientifically digging into the exoskeleton, we can tell because after a scorpion molts, its exoskeleton still glows. The outermost layer of that exoskeleton still glows. And in fact, it takes a while for the scorpion itself to glow under black light after it molts uh, until the exoskeleton hardens. Once their new exoskeleton hardens, then it reflects black light. I've seen this actually happen in person with one of these guys. Even fossil remains of ancient scorpions can still glow under black light if the exoskeleton is still somewhat intact. It's really incredible. So I've talked enough about this and now I want to show you. And I'm warning you, it's going to get pretty spooky in a second because I'm going to turn these lights off. Ready? Don't get spooked. Happy Halloween! I'm going to tell you a ghost story about the outermost layer of a scorpion's exoskeleton. This candle is for spooky effect, but it actually smells really, really good. So first thing I'm gonna do is take out my Florida bark scorpion. All right, ready? Where is he, where is he, where? Whoa! <laughs> he was next to my finger, I didn't even see that. There you go. Look at that. That is a beacon in the night. That is a glowing scorpion. And that is from the protein found in the outer layer of their exoskeleton. How freaking cool is that, man? So if you're in Florida, you can go flipping over logs and everything with a black light and you might run across one of these guys. And you can see he's actually actively avoiding the black light and that's something I want to talk about as well. A lot of people who know that the black light can uh, make scorpions glow, they think that's really cool and then want to show it off for good reason. It's beautiful. But um, scorpions do actively avoid it. And sometimes I've seen people have a scorpion set up with a permanent black light attached over their um, terrarium and that's really bad you're gonna stress the hell out of your scorpion and you're probably never gonna see it come out of its hide because it'll uh, see the UV light and try its best to avoid it so some people have that you know glow-in-the-dark terrarium crap and uh, I'm not a big fan of that it's I strongly advise against doing that all right so we'll put him back so there's one, so we know it works on that species. And now I can't even see my dune scorpion because he's hidden really deep inside of his little hide here. Uh, he makes tunnels in the sand. But if I do this, look at that, man. He's hiding in his hide and you still see that little glowing green light. It's, it's incredible, man. It makes the entire inside of his hide glow green. It's unreal. I love it. So there's that. The dune scorpion also reflects ultraviolet light. We're learning today. All right, now for the third and final test, my Asian forest scorpion. This is my biggest one, and uh, he's actually the most docile, which is very nice. Asian forest scorpions, in my opinion, are the best pet scorpions because they're big, they're very docile, and their sting is absolutely harmless. Ready? Whoosh, look at that. That is so cool. Look at how amazing that is, man. It really, it isn't just glowing a little bit. That is a flashlight in the shape of a scorpion. How freaking cool is that? All right, so here's my advice. 
if you want to get a pet scorpion, get a little black light flashlight like this one. This is a, you can get one of these for less than 15 bucks. And not only will you find all kinds of weird stains all over your house, you're going to be able to see your scorpion at night and it looks really, really cool. Again, don't have a permanent UV fixture up there because they tend to stay away from light. It might even hurt them a little bit. But definitely take it out if you want to show something really cool to your friends and um, maybe get them to appreciate how unique and interesting scorpions are. So that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very happy Halloween. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And uh, I'll see you next time.